the last remnant of the breathing device, the, yes. the ventilator. The bandage covering the tracheostomy incision is all that's left. The villain, a wisdom tooth extraction in May that gave Daniel Darko aspiration pneumonia, putting the young student on the ventilator and jeopardizing his return to school in the fall. If I was on a ventilator, I'd have to have 24-hour care. That was my uh, one and only goal for the summer was to get back. I mean, that's been our whole goal is to get you off the ventilator, get you back to school. To get back, Daniel turned to Superman's doctor, Ray Anders, see the diaphragm well, we who made Daniel the first patient with spinal muscular atrophy to receive diaphragm pacing, allowing Daniel to get back to computer classes and his job as a resident assistant at Wright State University. So when we implanted him, we worked on getting him off the ventilator, which is a, a key aspect. So we went from the big machine to a much smaller machine. The small machine, a pacing device attached to an electrode, which stimulates Daniel's diaphragm and allows him to breathe on his own. He needed something to help stimulate him. That's what diaphragm pacing does. After we started stimulating him, we saw that he had regained some of his control. I did not think it would work as well. I went back practically in the same state with the pacer and could live my life the way I had previously. But success aspect, is nothing new for Dr. Anders, team was Mr. Reeve, Chris. who he did the same for prepare. Superman in 2003 uh, after Christopher Reeve's riding accident left him a quadriplegic. Up against he also did the first pediatric diaphragm pacing in 2009 and the first DPS for bad. ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease this in 2011. I'm feeling great now. At that time you almost went a centimeter and a half. But despite Dr. Anders' medical heroics, to him, Daniel is the real hero. You think about what you've done at school and, you know, you have kids worrying about, you know, I didn't get the best dorm room and they're like, oh, okay, I got <laughs> my RA, I'll, I'll help straighten me out and what is the priority? Get back to being that independent, inspirational Dan that he is. Um, that was our prayer and our hope and it came true.